Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Stephanie. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoy it and hopefully you subscribe. I'm so excited because I finally got the Anastasia Beverly Hills stick foundations. I have been waiting on this ever since Norvina announced that they would have a very large range of shades, especially for women of color. There's like, I believe three categories that women of color can use. So the day that they launched, I ordered the color Coco, and this is just this, the box, the packaging, and this is what it looks like, well what the, the tube looks like. It's a pretty big tube, this is compared to my iPhone, and I have an iPhone 6S, so yeah, it's a pretty big tube. So this is what the color Coco looks like. It is in the deep collection, I believe, or the deep category. Um, so it's for a darker skin with red undertones. So the stick foundations are supposed to be highly pigmented, buildable, and matte coverage, and it's supposed to be good for oily skin. I just wanna thank Norvina, Anastasia, Molly Magic, everyone over at ABH. I feel like they really took the time and put in a lot of hard work to make a foundation that will match everyone across the spectrum from the lightest to the very darkest and that's what's amazing to me because it's so hard to find a very very deep deep dark shade of foundation and they have it so I'm gonna stop blabbling babbling is that how you say it I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna get right into this all right so Let's pray for the best. Ah. And I want you guys to pay attention to the hyperpigmentation that I have, mainly on like my cheek area. Um, I don't think it says full coverage anywhere. I'm not really sure, but I'm, I'm almost positive it is supposed to be full coverage. All right, let's do it. Hopefully it's a match. That looks so red. It looks good on camera though. It looks so red. Is it red on camera? I don't know. It looks so red right now though. I'm scared. I'm scared. I just put a lot on. I'm going to be using, wow, it looks so red, like, oh my god. I'm going to look like a Oompa Loompa. I'm using this brush to blend it all out. This is going to take a lot of blending. That is, oh my God, I am the seed of Satan. It's a good foundation. The coverage is like very nice. It doesn't look bad, does it? I don't know, it was so red when I first put it on. It blended into my neck very, very well. And it looks good on camera, I think. I don't know, I can't see that little screen. Let me put my glasses on. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna upload this video and you guys tell me if this is too red or not. Does it match? I think it does. I'm definitely gonna need a lighter color for fall though anyways because I'm at my toastiest capacity right now. Do I look Oompa Loompa-ish? I don't know. I can't tell. I think it looks good. Okay, you know what? Let me get the real test going. Let me take a selfie. 
Let me take a selfie. <laughs> it matches. <laughs> I have found my match. Oh, let me put this down. No, I'm wild. Hold on. Sorry. Wow. And this this was just one coat. And um it covered my hyperpigmentation pretty well. I mean, I still have acne. It won't cover that. <laughs> but um, the dark marks, I can still see them a little bit. But they did cover pretty well. And that was just one coat. So I'm sure if I put more over it, it'll be better. All right, so this is it. This is my flat face of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation in the color Coco. And by flat face, I mean I don't have any highlighter, any contour. There's nothing but foundation on my face right now. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit more to my face. And then I'll come back and we can talk about it. Alright guys, so this is it. I did a very subtle highlight. Um, just some liner, very little eyeshadow. Just to keep the focus on the foundation. I did go in and apply um, a little bit more foundation over the areas that I had hyperpigmentation and it did cover it up pretty well. The foundation went on very smoothly. Um, it is very pigmented like they stated, um, very creamy. Uh, it did blend with the brush. It, it's going to take a lot of buffing and blending but it blends pretty well with the, with the brush. It looks very natural. I like that. It is it blends really well like I was telling you guys or as you saw it was very very red when I first applied it but it blended out very very nicely very smoothly it makes my skin look like flawless even though I have like these stupid pimples on my face but it looks like my skin is a very smooth complexion which I like honestly I am feeling a little shiny right now which is weird because this is supposed to be a matte finish and I'm feeling a little shiny so I don't know I don't know I don't want to be a light bulb today I'll probably put a little bit more powder on but if it stays like this that'll be fine my only concern is that if it's shiny like this now if I start to get oily it's gonna be even worse but if it's like this, if it stays like this and it controls my oil by staying like this, then I am okay with that. I need you guys to tell me if you think it's too red though because I am really struggling with that. I think it's okay. Alright, so that's it. Yeah, like I said, follow me on Instagram so I can keep you updated on how this works for my oily skin. Comment below, tell me what you think of this foundation color on me. Let me know what color foundations you guys purchase. Um, how, what you guys think of the product and if you have any questions leave that in the comments below give this video two thumbs up actually no don't give it two thumbs up because if you click it twice then it'll unlike the like that you gave me so just click it once give me one thumbs up okay check out my other videos be sure to subscribe and hopefully I will see you guys again in another video thank you so much for watching peace and love